The first stop on our behind the scenes tour of the Hermitage Mansion is the Hermitage Basement. These two rooms that we'll be in are under the front and rear parlor of the house. As you come in to your right, you'll notice a hearth that unfortunately is covered up by this board, but this was the original summer kitchen space and this was the hearth. Jackson likely used this basement as a cooking area and as an area to store things he wanted to keep cool. The mansion has two sprinkler systems, a traditional dry pipe sprinkler system for the porches and a high pressure water mist system that will quickly extinguish any fire in the rooms. These tanks are actually the backup water and nitrogen tanks in case the house doesn't have power. There are three tunnels in the house uh, or in the basement that allow uh, entry into the crawl spaces. These water tanks hold water in case the city water system is compromised and there's not enough water supply. So this is a backup water supply. This is the second of uh, three tunnels in the basement. Unfortunately, you can't see very well through it, but you can see some of the ductwork uh, that runs all through these tunnels. These have been excavated out so that we could get air conditioning equipment and ductwork and piping through. These are the motors that would drive the automatic water mist system, and this is the control cabinet for that system. The whole house has a automatic building system, and all of these modules control uh, the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system for the Hermitage. As we go back out into the first room, this large metal box on the floor is actually the air handler that provides all the air for the first floor. It runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And finally, this tunnel runs underneath the um, main hallway and goes over to General Jackson's bedroom and his library. All of these spaces have been excavated out to allow passage of ductwork and piping.